Welcome in, IllinoisPrep.com, Skyler King Show, King Brothers here, breaking down the Upstate 8. So we, we got the insider here who's, who's seen all these teams all year long. Um, there, there's a ton of top swimmers that are going to be, you know, making some noise here, but what are the, the major teams to look out for in this conference? Uh, looking to win the conference championship, St. Charles North, who's been just lights out this whole year. Uh, Nequa Valley. Uh, are the two teams are definitely going to be fighting for a championship here. Nico Valley takes them out in the the actual duel meet earlier on in the year. Since then, uh, they beat them in the the Nico Valley Invitational, and then the past two Invitationals, Evanston and Nutria Relays. St. Charles North has been second place in both, looking to be much stronger than what they had been at the earlier on in the year. So it will be a, a pretty big uh, pretty big championship between the two of them, and who, whoever can. Uh, you know, come out on top. Uh, it's really going to be about who can start out at the beginning, try to win the medley, and then you know gain some morale from there. Uh, other players: Wabonzi Valley with the star-studded yeah. freshman yeah. sophomore crew, a couple seniors with uh, Hunt in there, but you know, bunch of sprinters basically. You got four or five guys that are going to make a difference in the free free relays and uh, individual freestyles, and then uh, you know, a couple guys at St. Charles East who. You know, had the surprise tie with us, Nequa Valley, uh, during the year. We didn't even think that they were going to be uh, an issue, and they came out, you know, ready to go when we were caught with our with the pants <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah, we were caught with our pants down the duel meet, and we had to, you know, come back at the end and, and make sure that we won the former for really just to beat them in the duel meet when before the meet we didn't think it was going to be an issue. So even they're going to definitely play a little bit of a role with uh, Lake Park and Matea Valley with a couple studs in there. Uh, that could definitely throw a little bit into the mix. So when we come back, a little more detail, breaking down uh, what Brandon thinks is going to happen, who might come up with some big shave swims to uh, to turn this conference on its head, and will Nico or St. Charles North be crowned conference champion on Saturday. Again, a reminder, Buffalo Wild Wings in Naperville and Buffalo Wild Wings in Northbrook. We'll be uh, doing state preview shows February 20th, 21st. And you can always follow me, Skylar, at Skylar I Prep on Twitter. And email me, Skylar at IllinoisPrep.com with all of your thoughts on the conference recaps here or anything swimming related or high school sports related in general. When we come back, more breakdown of the Upstate 8 here at IllinoisPrep.com. Back at it here, Upstate 8. So, a lot of top players. St. Charles North's been swimming lights out in this latter part of the season. Is is there is there concern amongst the swimmers at Nequa that, you know, St. Charles North is going to give you a serious run? You know, uh, I don't think there's really been that much talk. I think we try to make sure that we don't focus on uh, meets beyond what we're just, you know, swimming. We right. had, you know, the Fox Valley Invitational this past weekend. Uh, I think this week now we can start focusing on conference. We're not so worried that we've been just, you know, at it all the time and saying, oh, man, we got to win conference. Uh, part of it, I don't know if uh, the guys really even know it's going to be much of an issue. Uh, you know, the coaches have talked about it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, it will be it'll be a battle. Uh, they've, they've definitely proven that they're good, especially in a championship format, getting second place at some of the bigger, you know, invitationals throughout the year. So, you know, here here's the issue of, of – how can we beat a team that's been killing us at championship meets? Well, yeah, well are, do, do they have – looking at them, saying they got a couple shave swims that are going to make an impact? And see, I think similar to Naperville Central, I think a lot of their good guys, they have two good guys in each thing. Right. So each event, they don't really have two people they are going to be able to shave and taper. Unless some of their better guys are sophomores, maybe they put them down at the sophomore level and bring up a junior or senior. It'll be faster um, shaved. Yeah. And so – uh, whether that can happen or not, but even their first and second guy have been swimming great. You know, they have two 500 guys that have been in the 440, 450 range, you know, unshaved and untapered. So what's the point of even shaving someone? Right. Because they're probably not going to be as fast as that. You know, with Dieter, uh, Kyle Gannon, both of them under five. So, you know, and that's definitely a, a – could be a weaker event uh, unless we put someone like Connor Jager in it for conference. So it just depends on – 
on how the lineups go for each team. You know, if if we don't beat them in the medley right off the bat, that's going to give a lot, like a big morale boost to them because that's definitely one of our stronger relays. Right. And so if we can't even beat them in that, how are we going to beat them in the free relays, which they've shown, you know, a lot more uh, depth and a lot faster times than us throughout the season. Talk about. Well, Bonzi, what, what what problems are they going to cause in this meet? Well, Bonzi could be a big issue because they've had all three relays that are pretty solid. Uh, they were under 320 in the foreigners free relay this past weekend. They'd thrown uh, under 140 in the medley before, and even their sprint relays, I think, have been faster than our best sprint relay. So all of their relays, I, I believe, have been faster except for maybe the medley than our best times. So that'll hurt even worse. If, if we get third in two relays then it's going to kill us at a conference level. We can't afford for Wabonzi to come in and beat us in, in any relays, let alone two relays. So they're going to hurt us, I believe, much more than they will hurt St. Charles North. Now, if we can somehow win all three relays, and Wabonzi has one relay where they take down St. Charles North, that's where it's really going to help us. But I don't see it playing out more. like I see it playing out more of if we can win the medley and at least get second in those relays would be a good thing. Hopefully we can win all three, and that'll be the the key to our success is winning all three relays because our individuals are solid enough that they will beat the people that we can, and there's certain places where we can't touch their guys. So, you know, and then you got Mattia Valley that has uh, Mike Stack, uh, great breaststroker. You know, he's going to hurt us a little bit because obviously he cannot touch our number one breaststroker, but our number two breaststroker yeah. probably cannot touch him. And Shingoth, Lake Park. Yeah, Lake Park has uh, Shingoth, and he also has Casper, um, who solid sprinters. Uh, in the dual meet, you know, we didn't know much about them. They had a 49-5 in the 100 and a 50.0 in the for their second guy. So, you know, whether they rest a little bit for conference to try to do something, because they're not a state team, really. Right. So if they say, hey, let's try to do the best we can do, or it can, and maybe even get third at a conference level to try to beat out St. Charles East or Wabonzi if we shave and taper our team, now, I don't really see them shaving tapering the whole team, right? But maybe everyone, but but guys that could make state. But St. Charles East, another team, you know, they they really don't have any any horses for the state meet. They could be a team that really rattles the conference meet if they shave and taper their team. And that, there's a coach, Joe Cable, who's been around forever, won state championships, knows so, how, knows how to get a team ready if he wants to gear them up and and shave a lot of guys just yeah. to, just and like they, you said, if, shake if everything looking, up. If they're looking at their team and, and their teams saying agreeing and saying, hey, we don't really have a state team this year, let's let's win conference. <laughs> they could shave and taper everyone. They would win conference no problem mm-hmm. with a shave and taper team. Um, so St. Charles East is and Wabonzi. Are, are definitely the two teams that are looking for that third and fourth. Um, and depending on what they do, who they shave and taper, they could really, really mess up the top two teams. So, so. a lot of depth and talent in this one, probably more than any of the other conferences we talked about. So pick time. You, 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 you sticking with your boys here? Or I'm going to st- stick with my boys, Nuka Valley, because I do have faith in them. Uh, I think when it matters, uh, we've really we've had a hard time because we haven't had a lot of times where we've needed to just really get after it the last second and, and beat a team. We've pretty much had no problem or no chance of beating them. And so uh, with with the St. Charles East issue, when we were actually about to lose, we actually, I saw my team, you know, come together and, and a bunch of guys did their best relay uh, swims of the entire year. And I think if it comes down to it at a conference level, if we know it's going to be a race, I think our guys are going to get it done. So I got to pick my team for the number one spot. And St. Charles North, obviously, for the number two spot. Yeah, I agree. Like we've talked about, North's been swimming lights out all year, which means they've probably gone to the well way more often than Nequa has. And so, Nequa, when they need to, like you said, they need to go to the well. I, I, I think they'll be able to and come out on top in the Upstate 8. That'll wrap it up here. One more conference to go, Chicago Catholic League. Always a charged environment. And we'll break that down on the next time here at IllinoisPrep.com on the Skyward King Show with the King Brothers.